am on my way to the Straight Talk event at Walmart, a couple cities over. Um, traffic is pretty crazy. I'm hoping that it'll clear up as I get close to uh, Walmart. I still have plenty of time, but I just don't want it to keep piling up and then, you know, ratchet. So, but I think I left with enough time. I gave myself a little cushion. So I should be good to go. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. And yeah, that'll be it. Uh, yeah, that'll be, that's pretty much it though. Uh, I just have the straight talk thing today because I'm going to be there for a while. Uh, it starts at 2 and I'm going to be there until about 8. Um, just like promoing and, you know, doing all of this cool stuff, giving out prizes and all of that. Uh, and then come back. Well, come back home, and then tomorrow morning at 10, uh, I have to go back 10 to 4, and then, you know, do the whole, the same thing, and that'll be my last day for, like, this specific, um, for this specific promo, um, and then from there at 4, like, clean up, and then head back down to Orlando Orlando uh, by like I'm hoping to get here like literally like 5 515 at the latest um, because immediately from there I need to go work at the soccer game uh, for Andy Frame for the company that like does all the events in Orlando or most of them so yeah I ha and that starts at I have to be like on post clock in at 545 so I'm going to like literally try to be ready to go by four o'clock like you know it hopefully it's not like too crazy because I don't want to be like rude and like you know rushing while you know more customers are walking back and forth hey guys it's bianca and happy labor day well it's actually the day after labor day but <laughs> hope you guys had a great weekend um hopefully this will be going up fairly close to labor day weekend so you guys aren't looking at me like i'm crazy um but i have not been vlogging for a couple of days i haven't checked in with you guys for a couple of days um so things kind of got uh, hectic. Um, I kind of like get, gave you guys an update for the day after <laughs> because I figured that things were going to get a little bit too hectic for me to be recording. Um, so I still kind of wanted to document that for you guys for you to get an idea of what I would be up to and getting into. Um, and then, what was that? The day after that... I think the last time I talked to you guys was Saturday. No, I talked to you guys Friday. And then Saturday was the day that it was really, really hectic. Sunday, I just, like, stayed home and did a lot of stuff at home. Well, I did a little bit of stuff at home. <laughs> um, and then yesterday, I tried to, like... I did some more stuff, like I finished up some stuff and then I tried to uh, upload, I wanted to upload two videos but the one video wouldn't work and it was a part one and part two so I couldn't even, I didn't want to upload the other one with, you know, I, I didn't even try to upload the second one because it just wouldn't make sense if I upload part two before part one. So that was that. Um, but now today I have class because the kids are back in school. They weren't in school yesterday for Labor Day. Um, and I'm headed over to actually a new school. My schedule changed a little bit, um, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to meet the kids and excited to, uh, you know, get working and get having fun and all of that. Um, I've been really, like, lately... I don't know.
know. I, I kind of, I may kind of be all over today. Um, and probably for a while. Not like, not like in a, well, of course it's in a bad way. Because you guys are going to be like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, go into more detail or, like, you know. So, that's what I mean by, like, all over the place. Like, I might be a little vague about certain things. Um, because, like, when I made this channel, I wanted to be, like... I want it to be authentic, like I want it to be real and I want it to be relatable. Not like one of those like try hard, I'm so relatable, no, but like I just want it to be honest about whatever it is that, you know, I go through or I, I experience like the highs and the lows to an extent, like I still want to have my privacy and I still want to, um, yeah, I still want to have my privacy and I still... I don't want to just get on here and rant like you know my rants on here will be about something funny or about something that affects a lot of people so if it's something that happened that I noticed it's like okay it's because I want to start a conversation not because I just want to rant about oh I had a bad day and this person said this to me and yada yada so I kind of hold on let me see if this is a Still, it should still be going through. You say my love. All right. I'm gonna see if it's still going through. Hopefully, matter of fact, I need to use the other charger. Watch out! Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Okay. Uh. But yeah, I've just um lately I've just been kind of uh. I don't know like like it's been a like it's been a great experience and a learning experience you know doing what I like you know going after what I love and I still want to go after it harder um and like just being in a position where I'm not afraid to say like what I want in life whether that's like career whether that's friend whether that's relationship whether that's anything whether that's family like whatever it is I'm not a, I'm not afraid to like number one define what I want and I'm not afraid to expect that and work towards that um and you know that's what I did in my career you know I was like okay I know for a little bit um because the hours aren't you know the hours aren't the same like I was working like way overtime at my hospital job so I knew that you know no matter how much I made per hour dancing or teaching dance or whatever that for a little bit like just thinking of dance alone not all the other side things that I have going on just dance alone it wasn't gonna be a, an immediate uh what do you call it like an immediate supplementation of my income like it wasn't going to completely replace my income right away I knew that and so that's why I had all of these other things in place so that again like I said before in you know my other videos if somebody cancels if uh something you know if something comes up or if I you know don't get as much business around this time of the year or whatever I'm not broke <laughs> I'm not like you know struggling or anything like that so you know, I put those things in place, and but I knew, like, I knew that I wanted better and different for myself, and that's why I took that leap. You know, I knew that I wanted to do something that I was passionate about. Not saying that I wasn't passionate about the patients. I definitely was. I was passionate about, like, the patients helping people, things like that. Yeah, I was passionate about. But food, not, not so much. Um, and I was just working so hard, and I felt drained. Like, yeah, because of the hard, like, because of the long hours, but I've done long hours doing other things and haven't felt that drain. And so I was just like, imagine if I was able to dedicate these long hours to dancing, because I've done it before. Um, I've done, you know, shoots where I'm on set for 14 to 16 hours, and I don't feel tired. Like, I don't realize that I'm tired until I get home and I just crash. Um... But, like, during the day, I'm so excited and so happy to do what I, what I love that I'm not.
not even, you know, feeling I'm tired. So, but you know, that's just what I wanted for myself, and I, I'm, I'm getting to a point, and I'm enjoying the woman that I'm becoming because I'm at a place where I'm not really compromising as much. Like, you know, certain things in life take compromise, but I'm not afraid. I'm not listening to, oh, well, what if it doesn't work out? Well, well, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make sure that it does work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I, I don't care what comes. I'm going to do what I have to do. And that's just the type of person that I've become. And, you know, I'm not really worried. Of course, I'm smart. You know, I'm not just going to, you know... I'm not saying that people who do this are not smart, but I'm not just gonna like today. I'm not just gonna pack up tomorrow and move to Hollywood, you know, and, and be like, oh, okay, you know, I'm gonna live on the street and, you know, with whatever amount of money I have and just there we go. You know, that's not, that's not just the type of person I am. I am still a planner, but I take risks and I, say okay I'm taking this risk so I need a plan for this risk I need to you know have some other income coming in while I'm building this up to be what I want it to be so you know I yeah like was I nervous yeah but you know I just didn't let that hold me back um and I'm I'm seeing in other areas where maybe in the past I was afraid or I didn't want to uh I didn't want to ex like ask for what I expected or ask for what I wanted for fear of being viewed a certain way or uh, like just <sighs> it's hard to say it without saying it but I just feel like certain things should be you know to yourself and it does like you guys know me like it can be something that's not even all that deep like if I were to tell you it wouldn't even be all that deep but it's just my business and that's just how I am um sorry if that's annoying but hey um but I'm at the place where I'm just not you know I'm understandable I'm reasonable but or understanding and reasonable but I'm just not accepting any old thing anymore and I think that that's really important for a lot of people and you know I'm gonna say it especially women not saying that it doesn't happen to men um, but just because our society has taught women to accept less and I'm not you know I'm not just talking a relationship or whatever I'm talking friendship I'm talking you know family I'm talking you know career wise like we're taught to accept what we can get or you know not be too not ask too many questions or whatever but like i i think what I, like the gist of what i was saying was like be loyal like always be loyal don't be you know sideways or sneaky or shady or anything like that even if you feel like you know, your friend is being shady or your, you know, the person you're in a relationship is being shady or your job is being shady or your college is shady. Like, you know, whatever it is that, like, regardless of what happens, you be you. Don't be like, oh, um, well, they did this, so I guess that gives me the license to do that. Nah, don't do that. But when I say be loyal... But not to a fault. I mean, like, you know, be loyal. Like, try to work things out. Try to, try to, re try to understand if it's just a rough time in your life that you gotta grow from. Cause everything you can grow from. But try to realize if it's just a rough time in your life that you have to grow from, or if this thing is really just not doing what it's supposed to do. And you know. You got to figure that out for yourself. Only you can know that. And I know that sounds, you know, especially if you're in it, it sounds like really, of course, like if I knew that, you think I would be in it. But I think we know. Um, we know we just don't want to do it because we're comfortable or we, you know, don't want to come off as this type of person or we don't want to hurt feelings or we don't want to, um, 
Yeah, we, like we're worried about what other people think, or we're worried about, oh, am I quitting, or oh, am I this, or oh, am I that? Like, if you've done everything you can to make it work, if if it's something that is, you know, worth trying to make it work, sometimes you have to decide like it's not worth it anymore, um, or it just doesn't suit you. And sometimes nothing bad has to happen for you to get to that point. Like sometimes you can just realize that you're not growing in that situation anymore you're not um developing how you should be you're not becoming the person that you should be and not that it's any other person's responsibility or any school's responsibility or any job responsibility to make you a certain way or you know do whatever like that's all your work but if you're in a situation like if you're in tutorial and not to get too like into it but if you're in soil or an environment that it's not just that it's hard for you to grow like sometimes you're just in an environment that it's testy and it's rocky and it's like that for a reason because you're supposed to develop thick skin or you're supposed to get stronger in whatever struggles that you're going through that's per- that's a completely different thing but there are certain environments where it's just not like no you can work you're behind off you can do quote-unquote everything right because none of us are perfect but you can do quote-unquote everything right and it's just to not the environment that you're supposed to be in in this season and everything comes for a season everything everything comes for a season there are things that the season just happens to be your entire life and that's great but there are some things where the season is a little bit shorter or a lot shorter um but what i was trying to say is you know be loyal definitely but be loyal to yourself first because like and i've heard this a lot and i i get it you know the same way you're so afraid of not being loyal like that if you demand what you not demand but like if you say this is what I need in this situation I've you know been doing what I need to do I'm not just you know having my hand out I'm not just expecting for things to be perfect you know I'm not just expecting for everything to just fall in place for me but this is the level of whether it's respect whether it like whatever whatever it is this is what I need and you're not getting that whether it's because it's just not there or they don't know how to or but I feel like job is like the biggest thing that a lot of people uh, settle on because you got to make money like I get it I'm not looking down on nobody um but that's one thing that I see a lot of people like they they will stay at the same job for 40 and 50 years and then coming to find out they hate it and you can just see like the, you can just see the despair and the disappointment all over their face. They're miserable. They're like they're just not happy. It's just sad. Like it really is sad. And then they're mean. And they're just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. And you know, unfortunately, that's their choice. You know, but. That's just what I want for myself. Well, not that. I want to be aware of the choices that I'm making for myself. And to make the very best choices. So that however my life turns out, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. I have no regrets. I'm I'm good. Whatever successes I have, whatever failures I have, I know that I live my life to the fullest. And that's what I want for all of you like you know that's what I want for everybody around me and that's what I'm gonna work towards I'm not playing no games with nobody including myself because it's like I expect that I'm not gonna lie I expect a lot from the people around me (laughs) you can ask anybody that like is actually like a friend or like a family member like you know you can ask but I expect a lot from myself and I understand that I have to be in a situation where I'm well 
in order to do that. I have to be in a situation where I'm... When I say happy, I'm not saying everything is fine. Everything doesn't need to be fine. I actually work best when things are all over the place. Um, but I have to be in a situation where... Which is why I feel like I put up with a lot. Because I'm like, oh, I got it. I got you. Yeah. Things are going all crazy. Everything's unorganized. I got you. I bet you this is going to be done perfect. Like, you know, that's just that person I am. But... There's a difference between handling situations that come your way versus just staying in a situation that's always going to be like that and never going to change. Don't do that. Um, But yeah, that is it. That's really all I have to say today. Um, Thank you guys for listening to my rant. I hope I helped or at least started a conversation about, you know, something that can positively impact somebody um yeah and just let me know if you guys understood what the heck I was talking about or if it was just like a rambling mess um yeah that's it I'm gonna check the mail because I saw the mailman as I was leaving um so I'm gonna check the mail and then I'm gonna get going on all those things that I told you guys about and I'll most likely talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna be busy tonight I'm not playing no games. Um, But yeah, love you guys. And I look forward to talking to you guys. And I look forward to hearing back from you guys and hearing your insight and all of that. So see you later. Bye.